so valuable that there needs to be perhaps an exception to the don't ask, don't tell law. It's a question for tonight's Out in the Open panel. We have Mark Smith with us, a constitutional attorney, also a conservative commentator. Good to see you. Thanks for being with us. John Solt served in Iraq during 2003 and is the leader of the Iraq and Afghanistan veterans community. And also with us, John Aravosis, who's worked on a number of national gay okay. political issues and is the founder of America Blog. Good to see all of you. Thanks for being with us. Let me start with you, John. I mean, 58 Arab linguists, and it's one of the things that they really need to uh, need to constantly be ahead of, trying to recruit people that can speak Arabic in military. Why so many? What's going on? Well, I think it's a trend across the military. I'm not quite sure that gays just serve in, in this one part, but, uh, you know, we've increased the recruitment age now to 42 years old. We obviously can't kick people out for being overweight. And we've sacrificed our standards. We let felonies into the military. And when you've got uh, people that are combat multipliers for us on the ground in combat in Iraq, people that help us at checkpoints, people that help us interrogate civilians, uh, gathering that human intelligence so we can defeat uh, the enemies of this country on the battlefield and, and you kick them out, you're aiding the enemies of this country and it's a policy that needs to change. Mark, w w in your opinion, do you think Don't Ask, Don't Tell is successful? Well, I think we have to keep in mind that the military is about winning wars. And as a civilian, I'm not comfortable second-guessing the military with respect to military policy during a time of war. To me, putting openly gay people in the military is a social experiment, and now's not the time for it. But certainly, there, there certainly are concerns about having you know, openly gay people in the military. I mean, the example I like to give is if, for example, if you put me in a platoon with nothing but, let's say, hooter waitresses, that's going to distract me, and I'm not going to be focused on winning the war. I'm going to be focused on other things. And that's the sort of tension that, frankly, can hurt the morale and hurt the fighting mission. So to me, I understand what the military is getting at, and I'm not here to sure. second-guess military decisions on these kinds of critical issues about winning wars. Well, as I understand it, and I'd like to bring John Aravosis in this, there were people also caught up in this dragnet that included uh, people that were actually having cyber sex, among other things, and were not discharged. Uh, do you believe that gays are targeted, John? Um, I think there's a double standard, and I think what's really interesting is when we first discussed gays in the military back in 1993 with President Clinton, we had just defeated the Soviet Union. America wasn't really facing a great threat. Now we are six years after September 11th, and my main concern right now isn't social experimentation, it's not civil rights, it's not anything. I want to catch Osama bin Laden, I want to catch the terrorists, and I want to protect our troops. We have six fluent Arabic speakers in the U.S. Embassy in Iraq of a thousand employees, six. That was found by the Iraq study group. That's not me talking. It's the you know, bipartisan group of senators, Republican and, and Democrat. They said that this is a serious problem hampering all of our missions in Iraq. I'm frankly worried that the social experimentation is on the other side now, that, that this administration is more worried about the social conservative issue of gays and that they aren't saying, you know what, let's at least have an exception for the guy in the office next to you with a headset on listening to al-Qaeda. Well, for, I, I, first of all, I don't think you can have an exception for a guy in the office because because you can't apply it wouldn't be fair to the people that serve in the military oh, in the field oh, oh. and wait, also wait, 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 and wait, also wait, wait, no no it's disingenuous totally dis no no it is disingenuous as well for you to suggest I'm that worried Kippy, about the it is 11th, excuse frankly. me excuse me please disingenuous? let me finish it is disingenuous, you disingenuous for you to suggest that right. it harms the american national security right. to kick gays out of the military because to they're translators because sir you will not let me finish you will not let me finish people can be civilian translators in right. the Department of Justice right. or the CIA, or they can be right. civilian translators working for the U.S. Army. The so it is wrong for you to suggest right. that May the I people who now? are not translators in right. the Army let cannot also help the national Mark, interest. Let me respond. Because Mark, they have let's, let's, let's let John Aravosis finish right. his thought, and yeah. then we'll go to you, right. John. Because i got to right. explain to him which right. way I like to be in the military, because right. he's a bystander, okay. and he's speculating. Right. Let me explain on the national security side, and then John can talk about the military. The bottom line is we don't have enough Arabic translators. The day before September 11th, we intercepted a message that said the attack was coming. We didn't translate it until days afterwards because we are we were hundreds of thousands of hours behind in translating these messages. This is a serious national security issue. I support gay rights. I don't give a damn about gay rights when we're talking about catching Osama. Right, I want to have enough John guys Stoltz to do this. What, this wait. is ridiculous, these, these statements you make. I mean, I've been in combat for this country. There's gay people that serve with us when we're in combat. That's they right, serve they're allowed well. to serve they well, but serve they just can't well. be openly but gay. The difference is that when we're in combat and we are serve. fighting can be in the, the enemy of this country in combat, right. they are helping me as an officer in a battlefield. And they have done a lot more to protect this country and fight al-Qaeda than right, you will ever do for the rest of your life. There are rules in place. We have sacrificed. We have 
in adultery. Have, you cannot engage in we adultery. Have if you do, this, this, we have it, sacrificed our standards of the armed forces of the United States. We now let people in right. that are over 42 years old. You can still sign up. And yeah. I would encourage you to either think, Stephen, or sign up yourself. Because, frankly, these people who fought for this country, they have protected your right to stand here and speak When they right signed now. up, they, they knew the rules. Our, they when they signed our country, up, they knew the rules. They helped and our they violated the rules. Fight and the if, you engage, of our country. if you engage in adultery, do you support, you're kicked out, too. The question is, do you support the people that fight if this you, country? If you, if you, you engage in adultery, you're kicked out, too. Because, listen, because there are rules in place. We cannot. We cannot fill our ranks in the United States military right, right now, and you just want to kick That's people right. out. Then let the military Those make the decision, right. are, not civilians. We are out of time. Civilians, you have to leave it the there. Military. We, need to, we need to change the rules is the point, because we need to win this war. We need to change the rules. You shouldn't so change, war. To, you shouldn't change rules war. in the middle of a war. It's not the time right, for social well, experimentation. Mark Smith, we need You're a social John Soltz, That's the only social John Arabosis. Thank you all. A very heated discussion and a lot of good points brought out tonight. We're going to take a quick break.